what the hell am I getting myself into? Hot yoga. It's meant to be like 37 degrees. Now, Jordan's back in Scotland and I've always wanted to try hot yoga because my barber's been telling me for ages and ages and ages in Scotland you need to try hot yoga, you need to try hot yoga so this is the nature one and I was watching the videos on it and honestly I couldn't stop laughing so I swear to god if this is about breathing through your toes and touching your left nipple I am going to be buckled because I can't, I'll, I'll just laugh there is another one that's got like, it's like I'm not, I'm not sure, it's not the nature one, they do two types, they do the nature one and they do the not nature one. Sadly, t today, at this time, they've only got the nature one on. But I've bought three three classes, so I'm going to go to the nature one tonight, and then I'll go to the other one tomorrow, and then I'll go to the other one on Sunday again, because I'd imagine this nature one won't be for me. Now, I've never done yoga before, and I've got a little mat here, and I'm just... It's in a big tent, it's in a big tent because it's like a big pod and it's just going to be so funny. So I'll let you know how I get on because I don't think I'll be able to take my phone in there because of the humidity. Woo! Well that was an experience. Um, that was quite fun, like it's good to just chill out. It was mad hot, I'll definitely be wearing a tank top tomorrow though. I get why people do it, I mean it's hard to chillax. Uh, I'm quite 100 miles an hour so it's quite hard to just kind of zen. But um, yeah, so I've got I've, there's three types in there. You've got that one, you've got the nature one, you've got the dynamic one, which is rarely on apparently. And then you've got the hot blast or whatever it's called. It's more active. So I've booked that for, well, I will book that for tomorrow morning, but I'll be doing a big dirty leg session before it. So I'm not sure how tight I'll be. So that'll be interesting. But yeah, that was the first experience. Nature hot pod, 37 degrees, sweating. Uh, so yeah, roll on tomorrow, see how they go. I recommend definitely with a friend so you don't feel so strange because I felt pretty damn strange. It's another sunny day in Barbados and I've got yoga booked for half nine. It's currently just going on eight o'clock so I'm going to go in and I'm going to destroy my legs because I'm going to be doing an hour of stretching basically. So may as well just go in and smash them as hard as I can. I'm going to do my normal workout and I'll maybe just throw in the leg press for extra volume. And then we have to get the day rolling because I've got some things to do today. And it's Jordan's birthday, so we're going to go out for some dinner and drinks. I'm not sure if we're going out for dinner, but we're definitely going out for drinks. Been to the gym, it was awesome, good session. We've been in and out, shook it all about, showered, changed. Uh, I've, I've got a double protein shake here. Uh, I've got, I've had a banana and a kiwi. Going to hot pod yoga, the more intense version. So I didn't do my normal stretching routine in the gym because I'm going to be, hopefully this will be stretching out my legs. Uh, so it was, yeah, buzzing to get to this. I don't actually live off protein shakes. Uh, I didn't have time to get a more nutritious meal in, but it's fine, I'll get one after yoga. And then the day can slow down a bit and we'll go to Nottingham and I need to get some uh, suit trousers. Ideally, they'll be able to just give me them there and then, stretchy ones, because I need them for work. But we'll see, because uh, usually they do it like tailor-made or whatever, like they take down sizes. So we'll see, see how the day goes, see what I get up to. Jordan's coming out, uh, so we're going to be going out for drinks tonight. So yeah, pretty buzzing. It's going to be a good day, nice and sunny. Ooh, that was mad, that was well more intense. I'm actually soaking. Yesterday I felt I wasn't that wet. Today I'm actually soaking. Uh, that was actually really fun. It, it was a lot harder. It's a lot uh, more taxing on the shoulders and the muscles, etc. But that was sick. So there's actually three that they do. That one was called Hot Flow. The one yesterday was Nature. And the one that I'm going to book on Tuesday is an extra half an hour. And that's dynamic. That's meant to be even more intense. So, oh, I'm so wet. But I'm going to go home, get a nutritious meal in, and then I'm going to go to Nottingham and get these suit trousers.
Woo! I'm back in the flat. It's only 11 o'clock, so it's too early to have a full meal. Now, since I only had 20 grams of protein for my breakfast this morning in that single shake, I've still got the other 20 to have. So I'll have that just now. And then I also had that double shake after the gym. So that gives me my spy meal too. That gives me my 80 grams. Now, I eat my meals five times a day. And as you can see that I've just split number one, meal number one up. So that's how I intuitively eat. I only track my protein. So I know I'm gonna eat five times a day and I'm aiming for around 40 grams of protein. Because I eat low calorie dense meals, the more protein that I eat, the more satiating I am, the higher thermic effect it's got, the more calories you burn, right? So what am I doing? I'm not actually that hungry just now, so I'm just gonna have three egg whites um, raw because I don't like being in the kitchen, I like being in and out of the kitchen. I'm gonna have a full liter or whatever that is, I think that's around like 600 mil or something um, of, uh, water with cherry tart, char, cherry tart juice, which is full of antioxidants. That'll keep me full for when I'm ready for meal three. Uh, I'm going to have a little ban banana just to get some carbs in. And uh, since that was quite a sweaty um, session, and that's my second banana, I have two every day because I'm quite big on my micronutrients. You need potassium to grow muscle. Um, I'll take a little meal. Well, I'll take my, for my third meal, my 40 gram protein meal to Nottingham with me. To, just so I've got something to eat because that'll probably be around the three o'clock mark when I eat. Notice that I'm keeping my cat my calories really low throughout the day because I know that I'm drinking later in the evening with Jordan, so I'm saving my calories that way. I'm not going to put on as much weight. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to take some snacks with me as well, just in case I get a little bit of a hungry. What's my snacks? I've got an apple, a full cucumber, and my cherry tomatoes. Those are my go-to snacks at the moment. They have been for a while. So yeah, I'm gonna get showered and let's get to Nottingham. Wow. Wow. This is the look we are rocking. I've got a new bag, it's actually a women's bag, but itchy nose. I'm not a hater, it looks good without fit. I need a bag for just kicking about, going to cinema club, etc. Fits the snacks in well, those little bags nowadays are tiny. But yeah, I decided not to take my snacks and my lunch with me just because it's half 11 just now. I'll be back before three o'clock and I'd rather if I've got snacks on me, then I'll just eat them. So you're better just not having them on you. See you in Nottingham. What a throwback. I had to just squeeze this into the vlog. This is actually me and Jordan's tune that we used to listen to like when we were like nine. He Bluetoothed me this. I think this was the first song Jordan had ever Bluetoothed me on my phone. That's hilarious. You're so beautiful. Got a Gucci car parking space. It's like five minute walk from the city centre. That's free parking. I'll be keeping its location to myself. Since I've actually been kicking about in my lonesome pretty much all the time now, I just kick about with earphones. Is that weird? I've got a mate that used to do that. We all find it weird, but I'm just walking around to pure vibes. Um, I finally get round to trying this black airwave chewing gum as well. It tastes like licorice and I'm not a fan. If you follow my Instagram link below, you'll see that I've ate a lot of chewing gum in my time. But it always goes back to the light blue extra chewing gum. I think it's spearmint. It's just an OP of chewing gum. I usually eat it between meals just to prevent me from snacking. And it can hurt to have good breath. So yeah, I'm just gonna go back to eating that. But I've got like a 12 pack of these black airwaves because you can only bulk and buy them. But it was hard to find. It was my mate that recommended them. It's a no-go from me, Max. So yeah, to the shops. Oh, I've got another disaster. This full lockdown, I've never had a face mask on me, no matter where we go. Always need to borrow them or buy them. It's just such a hassle, man. Surely that's not just me. A face mask is the last thing that I think about on a night or anywhere. I've just never, ever, ever got one on me. <laughs> Well, I just had to open the car, put the phone in, hit record and do that again so you can see me getting in the car. But I'm bitterly disappointed with Slayers. Usually the one in Glasgow, you go in, it's quite an experience. Get your own little guy that tailors you up, etc. And the other guy just never seemed that interested. Also, maybe because it's sunny outside and he's working, don't know. But then the selection was horrible. Like they only had blue or navy and black. 
come on, it's summer. I was wanting like a nice grey, maybe a nice cream pair like that. Sadly, that's not the case. And also, I prefer shopping in Derby as well, better. Everything's so close to each other, you can just nip in and out of shops. None of this 10 mile trek. So, I'm gonna go back to uh, go back to Derby, and I'll maybe go out, I'll maybe go out to the shops just because it's so quick between them. We'll see, we'll see. Oh, I cannot believe how much Marks and Spencers in H&M came in clutch. See if I knew they'd done stretchy trousers as well. I'd have been so happy. I've got four pairs of suit trousers now. A black pair and a navy pair at Slater's, which I wasn't fussed about. And now I've got a nice cream pair of trousers at H&M and a grey pair at Marks and Spencers. Now you can't complain with that, see if I knew. I just went straight directly to them because now I need to drive back to Nottingham on Wednesday to pick them up in peak time traffic. But do you know what? Ah oh, well, at least I've got four pairs of suit trousers now, so I can't complain. <laughs> Absolute vibes. So, I'm in Turtle Bay with the big man. She's 24. We've got some lovely cocktails. We've got a white Caribbean and then a beach comma zombie. And a beach comma zombie. Now, this is quite, quite a place that you definitely need to go with your missus. Because these cocktails, you can taste the alcohol in them. But it's, it's like a nice taste, definitely a place, place to go with your Doris. But we're going to go to Revolution soon, in 15 minutes, because we've got a booking. And they charge you a tender ahead if you don't show up. Disaster. Ooh. <laughs>